It's me again back in the kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how I make my steak. So what I've got here is a cast iron, extremely hot. Cast iron is like the perfect way to cook your steak. You can use a stainless steel pan, but you're gonna get a better result with a, a cast iron pan. Some recipes they call for putting, pouring oil in the pan, but what I do instead is I actually just saturate the steak in oil and I add some salt and pepper. So this is just vegetable oil, regular oil, nothing fancy. The first thing we're gonna do is sear the meat, sear both sides, and you only do it, you only sear each side once because if you keep constantly turn it over, it just gets really rubbery and nasty. So I'm gonna leave that on there for one minute and a half, flip it over, do it for another minute and a half, and then after that, I just bang it in the oven. What the hell? I've cooked steak a few times. I've never seen that actually happen. So that kind of um, took me aback a little bit. But anyway, we'll leave it there for another minute and a half. And then it's gonna go straight into the oven. And it depends on how, um, how well cooked you want your meat. If you want it rare, put it in there for about four minutes. If you want a medium rare, put it in there for about six minutes. If you want it medium, about seven to eight minutes. And if you want it well done, well above 10 minutes. The oven has been preheated to 180 degrees and I'm gonna leave it in there for about 10 minutes because the missus, uh, she wants it well done. And that's the most difficult part of the process. We just wait 10 minutes and then it will be done. Look at that. Leave it to rest for about three minutes just to let the juices settle. And then we're gonna cut, up, cut it up and plate it. I also made some mac and cheese, which um, if you guys wanna know how to make this recipe, let's get 50 likes for this video and then I'll show you guys how I made this. But anyway, this is gonna pair very well with the steak. The only thing remaining is the steak. The key, you need to cut it against the grain. So if you look, if you look at them, if you look at it carefully, you can see that the fibers are going along this way. So I want to cut it the opposite direction. So I'm going to cut it this way. The reason why you do that is it makes the uh, how do I say this? The, the meat is more tender that way. Yeah, you can see that this is well done. Now it's not how I would recommend having steak, but uh, yeah, the missus is just feeling for a well done steak this time around. Okay, you can see that even though it's well done, it's still pretty juicy. You can see that it's pretty much juicy. And yeah, that's it. So I'll plate that up. 